Okay, so here I've got a piece of equipment that's already been modeled, and I've already added some clamping equipment and manifolds to this. And now my job is to create some hydraulic tubing and hose routing to connect all this together. So the first thing I want you to know is that within Solid Edge, um, we have the ability, once parts are in place, to use this steering wheel to move them around. And basically what we do is we place our steering wheel on a key point, we pick a direction, and we move that part. And you can use other key points, for example, center points or end points, to snap and make that move. Or you can key in a value. Now, I'm going to go into my parts library here, and I'm going to bring in a fitting. And I'm going to use assembly relationships to place that fitting. I'm going to pick up on this edge here. And by picking up on another edge, it'll create an insert relationship between those two. So if we go down and see, we've got a mate and an axial align all ready to go. Now what I'm then going to do is use my steering wheel to create an offset between those two. If I want those four inches away, I'll just click on it and key in four inches. Now Solid Edge will offer to help me with that and I'm going to select to just offset adjust the offset values of my relationships. So if we look back at the my relationships, there's a four inch offset now. So the steering wheel is pretty multi multi-function. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can use it to rotate. So for example, if this isn't in the right orientation, I'll just rotate that 90 degrees. Another thing that the steering wheel is really good at is creating, uh, copying the occurrence of that part. So if I want another one of these fittings, I'll just go over here to the copy button and then click a direction and that'll create another occurrence of the same part and I'll just snap to a key point. Notice too that Solid Edge is going to also offer to um, either adjust those offsets or in this case I'm going to say replace those relationships with this component here. And then maybe I'll just move that over two and a half inches. Okay. So now that I've got some equipment laid out, I, my path is pretty much set by where all my equipment is. So I'm going to go over into the express route environment. And that's how I'm going to establish these tube routing and then actually create the tubes themselves. So I'll start off actually drawing a path. And I'm going to start over here at this manifold. And the tool I'm going to go up to is just going to be to draw a line segment. Now, if I pick up on the edge, uh, Solid Edge will recognize a circular edge as an outlet. So it'll want to come normal to that. And then I can extend that line either manually or by keying in a distance, let's say 9 inches, and then clicking to place it. Now, it's placed a line segment at the end of that. And I'm going to use this triad here to lock it to one direction. So now I'm only going in this direction. And I'll just snap to this key point to define the extent of that length. And then once more, to connect the it to that other outlet and then right click to finish. So that's gone and established my um, route between those two points. Another way of doing it is using this path express tool and what that'll do is that will let you select two points and it will automatically create a 3D path between them. Now once that's done we can adjust that by using for example the move segment command to just drag this into the place we want it to be or we can actually put in dimensions so for example I can drop a dimension between there and let's say make that 8 inches or I can even use uh, an axis dimension to place a dimension between these two lines and I have to pick my um, direction of the dimension in this case I'm measuring the vertical but I can then key in an offset between those two paths. So once I've got some paths to define um, how my tube is going to be routed, I'll just click on the tube command and I'll give it a name. I'll call this tube 1. I can pick a material. I can also pick uh, an outer diameter or just use my defaults. In this case I want it to be a quarter inch outer diameter. And then I select the segment and right click to accept. And what that'll do is that'll put a tube part in with all my bend radius that'll follow that line segment. I'll check to finish, create another one, we'll call it tube 2, and pick another path, and it'll do the same thing. And then I'll just stop the command.